Hey, wine lovers, don't miss your chance to explore wineries around Illinois with the Illinois Homepage.net Wine Passport. Your passport entitles you to a free tasting and 20 bucks in free merchandise, a $180 value for just $49. Buy yours online today under the Half Off Deals section. It's the Illinois Homepage.net Wine Passport, brought to you by WCIA and the Cranert Center. Now, Mackinac Valley Vineyard is one of those wine passport participants. They're just south east of Peoria in the beautiful town of Mackinac on State Route 9 in McLean County. Diane Hahn with Mackinac Valley Vineyard is here to wet your whistle this afternoon. Diane, nice to have you. Well, thank you, Matt. <laughs> it's great coming down here and getting to see the lovely city of Champaign and yeah. spending time down here. And we're hoping to get people to come and spend time with us. Yeah, it's just a so, short drive up the highway. It, yeah, very easy drive, too. We an, got it quick. Yeah, and an absolutely beautiful place that you have. Well, How long you. have you been in business? The vineyards have been there 15 years, and then the winery has been open 10 years this year. So this is our anniversary year, and the glasses I brought for us to taste wine in have our <laughs> wine country in your own backyard, which yeah. is kind of what we like to... Uh, talk about with people because as you saw from our pictures it feels very different than other landscapes in Illinois. Yeah oh very when, much when so. When you visit our places. Well and we're looking at some of those pictures right. here now and mm -hmm. they are absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean this that's overlooking the vineyards that's, and on the farmland in the distance. Yeah we have we're on a glacial moraine so we're on a natural high spot and we truly have a valley view below us of 30 miles so it's really fun. That's one of the places people have weddings as well as that pergola you just showed. This I and, made my uh, screensaver. Oh, yeah, did on you my really? personal oh, computer because that is fun. incredible. Yeah, so that was uh, just some of the areas. But we have the property is around 90 acres and about 15 of it is vineyards. And then we have actually three locations people like to host their weddings. And so it's just a real um, nice area out in the country, a getaway for a lot of people. We're, we're about 30 minutes from everything. We're 30 minutes from Bloomington, 30 minutes from Peoria, East Peoria, where like this time of year we have the Festival of Lights, so that's definitely worth a little yeah. drive to come and see that in our area. So folks are coming out to taste your wines and they have an opportunity yeah. to spend the day and kind of explore. Festival of Lights is one thing and you have yeah. other great things. We have a great, we have a really nice, and I brought some of the merchandise you can see here, a Christmas gift shop, and a lot of it of course is wine themed. Uh, we've got some really interesting <laughs> cork cages like our cowboy boot over here, our pineapple. <laughs> yeah. We have Santa Pant wine uh, bags. You have this high heel here, which we is have, kind of funny. Yeah, shoe la la. <laughs> and then we have a little uh, wine uh, stopper ornament that's light up. It's kind of fun. So yeah. just, and we do we do work with some different, are you hungry? I am hungry. We do I'm, I'm always some, hungry. Okay. People at home are I'll, laughing I'll, right I'll now. I'll talk hungry? and let you eat. So I'm going to yeah. let you grab, we like food and wine pairings. And, and this is all stuff that's that's locally made. Local, pro, locally produced. I brought yeah. a jelly from a, a jelly maker who also makes me cold processed soaps, which is very fun. And that was made from a wine, can you read that? Is it yeah, Baco, Baco Noir? Baco Noir. So take a little bite of that. That is a hybrid of Pinot Noir. Okay. We have 24 wines currently for tasting. Oh wow! So no quite kidding. a selection. So take a little bite of. We'll take a little sip of your wine okay, first. Okay, wine first. Mm. Now take a little bite of your cracker. It isn't that jelly different. It's not mm -hmm. a. Um, it's not Welch's jelly. It's really no. tastes like that wine grape. But it's it got makes a, it like a pastry-ish taste to it with the it, cracker. Right. It's sweet, but it's not overpowering. Yeah. It's, it's not yeah. laden with the sugars that you get in some of the stuff from right. the Right. Now try it with the wine, and it just knocks it out of the right. park. It's really nice. Mm. No, I love that taste, and it goes together. So this... Mm, so good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. It really is. I, tell me about the soap now. That caught yeah, my eye, too. The soap was really fun. I met this gal at a farmer's market, and this is red wine soap, and this is white wine soap, and she makes cold process soap, so she boils down animal fat. That's how you really make soap. Most people don't really know that. And it's infused with our red wine, and this one is our white wine, and then there's essential oils. And so does it smell? Fragrance. Does it oh, yeah, smell like wine? Here. I'm going to grab one. Oh. So. Hmm. That's a red wine essential oil that's in there. Yeah, that's and they incredible. really hold up really well. They're just a nice soap, just something different. Stocking hmm. stuffer is what I'm kind of pushing those. A for, bunch of this stuff, great. nice gifts, and I like it too. Not only because it's locally made, which mm -hmm. is what we're about here on Seattle right. Living, sure. but also because it's personalized. Yeah. you know, if someone's someone's really going to be into this, like the, the yeah. high heel, the yeah. what'd you call it, the shoe, the shoe la la, the shoe wine la la, yeah. right? Like so, someone's going to love that. Yeah, and, and it'll be nice. Fun. Yeah, and you can really make it your own. So you said yeah. 24 wines. We have 24 different wines. No we kidding. have a full complement of red wines, sweet, dry, off dry, um, some blush wines. We have a port style wine. Um, we have a grappa style wine, which has a little kick to it. 
Mm. Uh, white wines, sweet, dry, everything in between, and then some blush wines too. Yeah. So this is one of our most popular reds, the Eric's Red. Okay. So let's dump that out. We're going to switch right. gears here with our wine. Yeah. Our next wine is a flavored red wine. Okay. Keep, keep talking, yeah. but I want, I want to reference, sure. too, the fact we've got some yeah. more pictures of the other yeah, fun sure. events that you guys do. Okay. Like you've got the murder mysteries, and you guys yeah. do trivia during the winter, we too. We do right? trivia and murder mystery nights in the winter on Saturday evenings, and that's scheduled on our website. And then in the summertime is when we're very active. June through September, we do classic rock concerts Saturday nights. We do some country concerts on Friday nights. Um, we have four festivals. We have an international wine and beer festival the last weekend in May, where mm -hmm. we get 50 wines and 50 beers from all over the wow. world. Two-day festival with about six bands to uh, play. Okay. Uh, then we do an art festival with local regional artists. And again, there's always music and wine and cheese and fun, you know, going on. And then we have um, a vintage festival with vintage ven vendors, so not antiques, okay. but like the repurposed kind of cool, you know, yeah, you re stuff, restyled, funky -ish, yeah, yeah. Fun. yeah. Um, so we have that. That's a festival in August. And then you we guys have are so our, busy. We are very busy. And a Grape <laughs> Stop and Harvest Festival. Oh, and I love and that. Yeah. That is fun. And we actually have vats, and people get in and stomp, and the audience judges you by clapping. <laughs> to, there's my husband dressed as Bacchus. So he, and he's six foot uh, four, so you, can, you can't miss him. <laughs> yes. If you see a six foot four guy dressed as Bacchus, you're at the right That's place. right. And say That's hi to Paul. It's the international festival there with the flags up in our pavilion. And so a lot of these we're able to do indoors or outdoors too. All right. So a yeah. final toast. What are we drinking here? We are drinking a flavored wine. It's a red. Red wine, um, du Noir, and it's got blueberry blackberry flavoring. So that's a bit mm. of a fun holiday. Mm. Yeah, no, wine. and it's, it's different. I mean, and yeah. you, you can make wines with other fruit. I guess yeah. that makes a yeah. lot of sense. Yeah, and flavorings and stuff. So this is a nice, you know, pairing wine. But uh, you know, we have sweet white wine, dry white wine. Carly's that I brought that we haven't tasted is a sweet Concord, very popular. So I think Welch's grape juice fermented. Oh, <laughs> so very fun. And um, you know, locally we do have our wines in the Friar Tuck store mm -hmm. here in Champaign, and then we also are just actually when we leave here going, they have a new store in Forsyth, and we're taking wine to the Friar Tucks in Forsyth that'll be opening soon. Mm -hmm. So you can get wine locally. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, but yeah. come see us. But too. come, oh yeah, because then you get the full yeah. selection of wines. Diane Hong, yeah. thanks so much. Hey, thank you. This is very really fun. great. Yeah. Let's have a toast All right. to uh, the holiday season. And, Here's uh, to that. Yeah, the cheers. The station's mm. anniversary, too. Mm hmm. To 60 years. Thank you. Yes, thank hey, you. Hey, check out everything from Mackinac Valley Vineyard. You can do so. They're in Mackinac, Illinois. That's their website, MackinawValleyVineyard.com. The number 359 wine in the 309 area code. And we're going to link you to everything Mackinac on our website at CIliving.tv.